A swarm of bees that needed a new place to live settled under this table and I was called to remove them. So I gave the bees a new hive and I started to move them in. When these bees left their old hive, they took their queen and as much food as their stomachs could hold, but they left everything else behind. That meant that there was no honeycomb, food, or baby bees here, and I could just scoop these bees up with my hands. These bees were very gentle, mostly because they didn't have a hive to protect, but they should have had a queen. So with every handful of bees I scooped, I was searching for the queen. It wasn't too long before I found her hiding under the table, so I put her in a clip to keep her safe and I put her in the new hive. I needed to get all of the bees into the new hive as quickly as possible so they wouldn't try to swarm again. So I just kept scooping handful after handful of bees into the hive. But there were still a lot of bees on the picnic table who didn't seem to know where to go. So I gave them a little bit of smoke to help them move along. The smoke does not harm the bees, they just move away from it like we do. So I used my smoker to herd the colony into the new hive. Then all of a sudden some of the bees started to recognize the hive as their new home. They began sending signals to the other bees to tell them where to go. And all of the bees started to march down the leg of the table and into the new hive. I waited while the bees moved into their new hive, then I closed it up, I loaded it into my truck, and it was another great day of saving the bees.